As a doctor, I've seen countless patients walk through my door, each with their unique tales of struggle and triumph. But there was something about Mahira that left an indelible mark on me. Her journey, one of resilience and discovery, unfolded like a poignant melody, echoing the trials of modern-day living. Mihira, a bright-eyed software engineer, stepped into my office with a weariness that belied her youthful demeanor. She wore the exhaustion of long nights spent hunched over her computer screen, coding away in the dim glow of her workspace. Yet, beneath her fatigue, there was a spark of determination, a fervent desire to reclaim her vitality. I've been feeling constantly fatigued, Dr. Mihira confided, her voice tinged with concern. No matter how much I sleep or how well I eat, I just can't seem to shake off this sense of lethargy. A battery of tests revealed the culprit behind Mihira's persistent fatigue, a severe vitamin D deficiency. It wasn't surprising, considering her lifestyle tethered to the confines of her office cubicle, rarely venturing into the sunlight that held the key to her vitality. I'm prescribing you a course of vitamin D supplements, I explained, noting the gravity of her deficiency. But that's only part of the solution. You need to make some lifestyle changes too. Mihira nodded eagerly, a glimmer of hope dancing in her eyes. She was ready to embark on a journey of self-restoration, guided by my counsel and her unwavering determination. Armed with her supplements and a newfound resolve, Mihira set out to reclaim her health. She bid farewell to her sedentary lifestyle, embracing the outdoors with fervor. Morning walks became a sacred ritual, her face upturned towards the golden rays of the sun, soaking in the nourishing embrace of its warmth. But it wasn't just her physical habits that underwent a transformation. Mihira recognized the need for balance in her life, carving out time for hobbies that brought her joy and fulfillment. She rediscovered the pleasure of losing herself in a good book, the simple bliss of sharing laughter with friends, and the serenity of practicing yoga. With each passing day, Mihira's vitality blossomed like a flower in bloom. The fatigue that once weighed her down gradually lifted, replaced by a newfound energy that permeated every facet of her being. Her colleagues noticed the change, marveling at the radiant glow that now adorned her once pale complexion. I feel like a different person, Dr. Mihira exclaimed during one of her follow-up appointments, her eyes sparkling with gratitude. Thank you for guiding me back to health. As I watched Mihira's transformation unfold before my eyes, I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride. In a world fraught with challenges, she had dared to confront her struggles head-on, emerging stronger and more resilient than ever before. In Mihira's story, I found a testament to the power of perseverance, the importance of self-care, and the profound impact that a single individual can have on their own well-being. And as she stepped out into the world, her spirit alight with newfound vitality, I knew that her journey was far from over, it was only just beginning. Yes, dear viewers, welcome to Mahira's Medical English Podcast, where we delve into the fascinating world of health and wellness. Today, we're shining a spotlight on a topic that affects millions worldwide, vitamin D deficiency. In recent years, this seemingly innocuous deficiency has garnered increasing attention due to its widespread prevalence and profound impact on health. From weakened bones to compromised immune function, the consequences of vitamin D deficiency are far-reaching and often underestimated. Joining us today are three esteemed guests who will shed light on this critical issue, Dr. Hema Marigold, an endocrinologist specializing in bone health, Dr. Ralph Kennedy, a general practitioner with expertise in nutritional medicine, and Professor Neil Blaine, a renowned researcher in the field of vitamin D physiology. Together, they will unravel the complexities of vitamin D deficiency and offer invaluable insights into its diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Without further ado, let's welcome our guests to the show. 
Thank you so much, Dr. Mendez Black, for extending this gracious invitation to join your podcast. It's truly an honor to be here and to have the opportunity to contribute to this important discussion on vitamin D deficiency. I commend you for shining a spotlight on such a critical health issue, and I'm thrilled to be a part of this conversation. Dr. Mendez Black, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for inviting me to participate in your podcast. It's an absolute pleasure to join you in addressing the topic of vitamin D deficiency, which holds significant importance in the realm of health and wellness. Your dedication to educating and informing your audience is commendable, and I'm truly honored to be a part of this enlightening discussion. Dr. Mendez Black, I extend my sincerest thanks to you for extending this invitation to join your podcast. It's a privilege to be here and to contribute to the conversation surrounding vitamin D deficiency, a topic of utmost importance in the field of health and medicine. Your commitment to raising awareness and fostering dialogue on critical health issues is truly commendable, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to be a part of this insightful discussion. Thank you. Dr. Hema Marigold, Dr. Ralph Kennedy, and Professor Neil Blaine, for your gracious words and for accepting my invitation to be part of today's podcast. It's an absolute pleasure to have such esteemed experts joining me in unraveling the mysteries surrounding vitamin D deficiency. Now, let's dive right into our discussion. Vitamin D deficiency is a multifaceted issue that affects individuals of all ages and backgrounds. From its impact on bone health to its association with various chronic conditions, there's much to explore. Dr. Marigold, could you perhaps start us off by shedding some light on the role of vitamin D in bone health and the consequences of deficiency in this regard? Absolutely, Dr. Mendez Black. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in maintaining bone health by facilitating the absorption of calcium and promoting bone mineralization. When vitamin D levels are insufficient, as we often see in cases of deficiency, the body struggles to maintain adequate calcium levels, leading to weakened bones and an increased risk of fractures. In my practice, I've encountered numerous cases of vitamin D deficiency, each presenting its own unique challenges. Take, for example, a patient whom we'll refer to as Mahira. Mahira, a young professional much like our host, sought medical attention after experiencing persistent bone pain and muscle weakness. Upon further investigation, we discovered that Mahira had severely deficient levels of vitamin D. This deficiency had taken a toll on her bone density, leaving her susceptible to fractures and other skeletal issues. Through a tailored treatment plan involving vitamin D supplementation and lifestyle modifications, we were able to gradually replenish Mahira's vitamin D levels and improve her bone health. Over time, her symptoms resolved, and she regained her strength and vitality. However, Mihira's case is just one example of the many individuals who struggle with vitamin D deficiency. In my practice, I've encountered patients from all walks of life, from elderly individuals with osteoporosis to young children with rickets, all grappling with the consequences of inadequate vitamin D levels. It's imperative that we not only diagnose and treat vitamin D deficiency, but also educate individuals on the importance of maintaining optimal levels through sun exposure, dietary sources, and supplementation when necessary. By raising awareness and implementing proactive measures, we can help prevent the debilitating effects of vitamin D deficiency and ensure the health and well-being of individuals like Mahira. Certainly, Dr. Mendez Black. Vitamin D deficiency presents a myriad of challenges, and in my experience as a general practitioner, I've encountered a spectrum of cases that underscore the severity of this condition. One particularly complicated case that comes to mind involves a patient, whom we'll refer to as Mihira, who presented with a constellation of symptoms including fatigue, muscle weakness, and frequent infections. 
Initial investigations revealed profoundly deficient levels of vitamin D, indicative of long-standing neglect of this essential nutrient. Despite our best efforts to intervene with supplementation and lifestyle modifications, Mahira's case took a tragic turn. Complications arose, stemming from the prolonged deficiency, leading to a cascade of health issues that proved difficult to manage. Despite our collaborative efforts and extensive medical intervention, Mahira's health continued to deteriorate, ultimately resulting in her untimely passing. Mahira's story serves as a sobering reminder of the devastating consequences that can arise from vitamin D deficiency if left unchecked. While her case may be an extreme example, it underscores the importance of early detection and intervention in mitigating the risks associated with this condition. As healthcare providers, it's incumbent upon us to not only diagnose and treat vitamin D deficiency, but also to emphasize the significance of prevention and proactive management. Through education, awareness campaigns, and comprehensive healthcare strategies, we can strive to prevent tragedies like Mahira's and ensure the well being of our patients. Thank you, Dr. Mendez Black. Vitamin D is a multifunctional hormone that plays a crucial role in various physiological processes within the human body. One of its primary functions is in the regulation of calcium and phosphorus metabolism, which is essential for maintaining bone health and skeletal integrity. The synthesis of vitamin D begins with the conversion of 7-dehydrocholesterol in the skin upon exposure to ultraviolet B, UVB, radiation from sunlight. This precursor molecule is transformed into pre-vitamin D3, which undergoes further enzymatic reactions to form active vitamin D3, also known as colocalciferol. Once synthesized or ingested through dietary sources such as fatty fish, fortified dairy products, and supplements, vitamin D undergoes hydroxylation in the liver to form 25-hydroxyvitamin D, 25-OH, the major circulating form of vitamin D in the body. This metabolite serves as a marker of vitamin D status and is commonly measured in clinical practice. Further hydroxylation occurs in the kidneys, where 25-OH, D is converted into its biologically active form, 1,25-dihydroxyvitamin D, 1,25-OH-2D, also known as calcitriol. Calcitriol acts as a potent steroid hormone, binding to vitamin D receptors, VDRs, located in various tissues throughout the body, including the intestine, bone, immune cells, and kidneys. Through its interaction with VDRs, calcitriol regulates the expression of genes involved in calcium absorption from the intestines, bone remodeling, immune function, cell growth, and differentiation. In essence, vitamin D serves as a master regulator of calcium homeostasis, ensuring optimal levels of this essential mineral for a myriad of physiological processes. Maintaining adequate vitamin D levels is crucial for overall health and well-being. However, various factors can influence vitamin D synthesis and metabolism, including geographical location, season, skin pigmentation, age, dietary intake, and lifestyle factors such as sunscreen use and clothing coverage. In regions with limited sunlight exposure or during the winter months, individuals may be at increased risk of vitamin D deficiency due to reduced UVB radiation. Similarly, individuals with darker skin pigmentation have higher melanin levels, which can inhibit the production of vitamin D in the skin. Furthermore, certain medical conditions, such as malabsorption disorders, liver or kidney disease, and obesity, can impair vitamin D metabolism and increase the risk of deficiency. Additionally, lifestyle factors such as sedentary behavior, limited outdoor activity, and poor dietary habits can contribute to inadequate vitamin D intake and synthesis. Given the intricate interplay between sunlight exposure, dietary intake, and metabolic processes, achieving and maintaining optimal vitamin D levels requires a multifaceted approach. This includes promoting safe sun exposure, consuming vitamin D-rich foods or supplements as needed, and monitoring vitamin D status through regular screening tests. 
By understanding the theoretical framework of vitamin D's role in the human body and the factors influencing its synthesis and metabolism, healthcare providers can effectively educate patients on the importance of maintaining adequate vitamin D levels and implementing appropriate strategies to prevent deficiency and its associated health consequences. As we draw our discussion to a close, it's imperative to emphasize the paramount importance of maintaining optimal vitamin D levels for our health and well-being. As we've learned from our esteemed guests today, vitamin D deficiency can have far-reaching consequences, impacting bone health, immune function, and overall vitality. I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Hema Marigold, Dr. Ralph Kennedy, and Professor Neil Blaine for sharing their invaluable expertise and insights on this critical topic. Your contributions have truly enriched our discussion and deepened our understanding of vitamin D deficiency. And to our viewers, I encourage you to take proactive steps to ensure that you're getting an adequate intake of vitamin D through sunlight exposure, dietary sources, and supplementation when necessary. Your health is your greatest asset, and prioritizing vitamin D is an essential part of maintaining your well-being. Thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, stay healthy, stay informed, and take care of yourselves. Goodbye.